good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm not very well. What do you mm. mean? No. No, Darling, no. I'm, what's wrong? I got the lurgy. Well, not, not the lurgy. Oh, no. <laughs> but I got, I got, uh, 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 you know, bad throat, um, sneezies. Um, I, don't, I don't have a temperature, but I think it's just, you can hear it, it's in the throat, just a cold. Yeah. yeah. I just a feel, I, I just want someone to look after me. And hot toddy. You need a hot toddy. Yes, yes, darling. A hot, hot something, water anyway. Bottle, hot toddy. Yeah. And, yeah, and a blanket and the telly on and your feet And up. sleep. Listen, guys, I've got a little poem that... Oh, no. I... Is it rude? <laughs> no, sadly it's not. It, uh, next uh, time I'll bring a limerick. No, this is a poem that I found really helpful because the last week I found really, really difficult. And I don't know why. And everyone is on this roller coaster and it's up and down. And I took the dog out earlier this morning. And I've been in my head <laughs> the whole night and the whole thing. And suddenly I stepped into the world with a glimmer of sunshine and people busying and I thought oh there's a whole world out there and I'm in my head feeling unsure and fearful and all of that and I remember this amazing poem that I've read for a long time that has always helped me so I thought I'd just share it with you first of all putting on my new glasses direct Ooh, very nice. Nice. Oh. and they are so amazing because they are also the structure of them is so strong they're such they're gorgeous, but they're, you know the ones you buy over the counter? But this is yeah, just... I think it's the same, don't I? Yeah. Very they're very brilliant. brilliant. Beautiful. Anyway, let me read you this. It's a Sanskrit poem, right. which is over 7,000 years old. But it's amazing how that voice of, I don't know, hope has gone down through our history in, the, in our world as human beings. And it starts with, look well to this day, for it is life, the very best of life. In its brief course lies all the realities and truths of existence, the joy of growth, the splendor of action, the glory of power. For yesterday is but a memory and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, if well lived, makes every yesterday a memory of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day. Oh, living, living, living that's the like the wonder birds oh, mantra and that is lovely all the things that we did when we all felt panicked in the beginning coming together creating the show the action yeah. we took because that was all we could do in that day we made those plans we didn't think oh. you know i'm so busy thinking about what i didn't do yesterday and what yes. i might not be able to get to tomorrow i never just happened and this is about being present and I being in that. this day what that can I do? Yeah. This is seven thousand years talking old. Talking about being present and yes, today, yes. just one moment, Carla. What's Glass going on? on. Ooh, Glass is back on. She's got a surprise. <gasps> My baby girl. Uh, well, that's a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're in our bubble, you see, so it's allowed, isn't it? Yeah. Well, obviously, How yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're not going to do any of that, are we? <laughs> not seeing each other. Is, is it now a double act? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. Oh, you look gorgeous, oh. darling. Oh, well, thank she you. is gorgeous. How she is gorgeous. Good to see you, Keely. Hi. I haven't seen you for, for ages in real life, as it were. Well, it's, oh. and, and, and it's, uh, what is it called? Well, since the wedding. Is, is that four years? Yeah. Six On years. Thursday, yeah. Debbie. Yeah. Four years on Thursday, her wedding. Wow. wow. I can't believe it was that long. It was oh. the most amazing day. It was it was so fantastic. And I lost my front tooth on that day. I'll never forget I it. Know, for that was so <laughs> Another one. That. Very that funny. Was that's, oh. I, that's, that's kind of all I know about your wedding, darling, is that Debbie lost her yeah, tooth on that day. I've not heard her tell. <laughs> <Yeah, okay. laughs> <That's all we laughs> what are you up to, Keely? What have you been um, doing in lockdown? Well, today, well, I'm helping my mum. Oh, yes, yeah. because I'm having carpets laid, so oh. that's why I'm here. Really. Keely's doing it all for me. Well, not I'm not, I'm not a floor lay. No, not. <laughs> I'm not doing clothing, skincare and floor lay as well. <laughs> you've, you've got the underlay ready, have you? And that's not yeah. useful. Yeah. Underlay, underlay. Yeah, that's but but <laughs> what, what have you become now? I've become a tropic ambassador, which I'm oh. so excited about. Oh, my goodness. As well as doing the clothing, because I can't stop doing that, because I love doing that. But I've always been passionate about skincare, so I've always wanted to do something. And Tropic is just 
been absolutely amazing. The, yeah. The products yeah. Have and been did, you know that, don't you, Dee? Yeah, I, I was did, just about yeah. to say, I did put in an order, actually, from you, didn't I, Keely? Yeah. And it arrived yesterday for Sid and myself. And Sid Yay. said that the, that the moisturizer has actually won awards and it's brilliant. It's the, yeah, they're it's all the multi award winning products. Yeah. Really. yeah, they're amazing. Absolutely it's beautiful. Amazing. I never knew about it really no. until the lady approached me. But yes, I, do, I, can't, I would never use anything else. It's amazing. Right, I'm getting my order. And the fruit, fruit peel, remember the fruit peel, if ever you get the tropic, yeah. is absolutely oh. beautiful and yeah, smells really 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 nice. really nice. yeah keely is it one of these businesses uh, a bit like we had joanne from Marbon that you start your own little business with like a little sort of mini franchise thing yeah which i was never really into in the first place because i like kind of i was just mainly doing my clothing but when a friend approached me that does do it well full time now she said, you'll love it. Just try it and see what you think. And yeah, it is similar to that, but I just absolutely love it. I love yeah, posting, I love giving advice, I love helping people. It's just amazing. And she has the best love skin, it. I have to say, in the world. Yes, yeah, I'm a bit if, you want to become, if you want to become an ambassador, for example, say I wanted to do this. Yeah. What, what, what happens? Do I come to you? Yeah, you can come to me and you can join my dream team. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm just starting that because obviously I've only just started it. So... I'm still learning everything, but yeah, that's for sure. Everyone can join. It's no problem at all. That's great. There and you I are. I just wonder yeah. how, it, how it all works. So, so, I mean, you know, we might get a few. So you basically in this lockdown, it's a great way to start your own little business, isn't yeah, it? Well, it's does it? Does it, does it cost a lot to start off? Not really, no. I mean, um, the starter kit, which you get 500 pounds worth of products within a box, and it's just Ooh. full of literally everything they do, nearly. Um, you pay 198 so you're getting 500 pounds worth of products for 198 basically so that starts you yeah. off so you can then post you can use the products and see how they work and then give give advice because obviously you wouldn't know until you've yeah. got them um, oh. and that's how it works really and then you just set up your Instagram uh, Instagram Facebook Twitter whichever you want to do and then go from there and then people will message yeah. you and see how what what you want what they want to use what advice they need with but I have to say, when we got the box, this hundred and ninety-eight pound, the box. I mean, it was like it was like one of those magic boxes. It oh, never stopped. Yeah. Did it's it? So much. I bet. It was hun and I kept saying, oh, I mean, I cannot tell you how much you get. Yeah. And it. it well, I it think feels it's like a fantastic idea. Pounds, so heavy. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic <laughs> idea for for lockdown for people starting their own yes. businesses, people that have yes, lost, yes. lost perfect, their job. Perfect time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it really, well. really is. Yeah. yeah. And also, Brilliant. about a year ago, I actually bought from somebody else. Actually, Keely, I bought um, the palette, the makeup palette. Yeah. And it's so oh, good. Yes. All you do is do the refills on it, and I it's know, got I like it. yeah, blusher foundation yeah because they're magnetic so you can keep taking them out so whatever you want right. you just mm. keep changing them but you can yes. keep it in your handbag and i i have it all the time i've got well i've got it with me you've now. got it with that absolutely love it so it's all pure yeah. as well it's all pure which is what i like it is you know that's the main yeah, thing isn't animals. it and it's yeah, the no, mascara no, no, no things on animals and all of that there's, there's an app called um think dirty which everyone should go on which i didn't even realize that the products on the shelves and the products from like really high-end brands are so harmful and so harsh on your skin it's unbelievable so on this think dirty app it tells you exactly what's in every all the ingredients in every product that you get anywhere and shows yeah. you what harsh chemicals you're putting on your skin it's really scary to be honest but the smell is just divine isn't it yeah and you just you just know when you put it on your skin and it, it feels really good working. it does feel really, good. really work. yeah fantastic well, i can't I'm wait get my to try order some. In. No, you'll have to just let me know and I'll say Yes, darling. Time. Yes, we'll, send, Thank we'll, you. we'll come back and do a demonstration if yeah. you like. Oh, yes, please. If you'll invite us on, we'll do the demonstration. Of course. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Keely, we might invite we might invite you, but I think Sherry's been on too many times, don't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> so Keely, darling, you have to stay with us because we've got the amazing Gemma Forte on. So get yourself a cup of tea, dear. And Gemma's going to be in the nest. Hello. Hey. Hello, Hi. darling. Welcome to our, our crazy nest on a Monday. Good way to kick the, the week off properly. It is, it is. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask you first, darling, what got you into presenting? 
and doing all the amazing things that you do, because there must be a, a huge theatrical gene in you that is d to cover all the things that you do, which are amazing. Um, I think it was a mixture of things. For the writing, I was just one of those kids that just read all the time. Not mm. necessarily massively highbrow stuff, uh, but just read, you know, even if it was Ina Blyton or whatever. And then, so I sort of, I think if you read that much as a kid, you have the potential to be a writer. Everybody loves stories. Yes. And I loved movies as well. I was very starry eyed about things and found sort of Hollywood and all of those kinds of things really, really sort of fascinating. So I think I've always written with a view to the potentially being films and so on. So you had a vision, you had a, a sort a of endless bit, vision. A little bit, but then because I wasn't massively academic academic, you have that slight imposter syndrome, don't you? So it, it, even when my first book came out, I didn't really like saying, oh, I'm a writer. I used to go, oh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm a writer. I own it a you, lot more. You've got over that now, have you? I've got over that, yeah, I've yeah, got I've over got. that. You do as you get older, you get confidence. But, um, and then with everything else, I just, my dad worked in TV and when I was a kid, he used to take me into studios all the time and I was good as gold. He never had to tell me to behave. He never had to tell me to be quiet. I'd sit in the back of the gallery and watch um, him directing things like Blue Peter, Play School, um, Play Away, like he worked in kids TV. And I just thought, wow, you can earn money being in this environment. That's all right. This is amazing. <laughs> That's a long time ago, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. And then I was a runner and I got paid nothing for a six day week. It was brilliant. <laughs> but Gemma, your book, your book, it's called Be Careful What You Swipe For. Aha, uh -huh. be careful. Yeah. T -t Tell us about it. Okay, so this one came about, um, I think really, I mean, A, I'm, I'm divorced and sort of have been on the apps and actually met one ex-boyfriend through them. And I think they can be a force for good, but they can be a nightmare as well. And they can be funny as well. You can have these extraordinary experiences where you meet people you wouldn't have met otherwise. Um, but also, I think it's this reflection of um, what, what life has become a bit. Have you lost me in terms of vision? No, you no, can't. no, I'm still there. It's just me being an idiot. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really, 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 really good. Um, so, I think with Instagram and everything like that as well, it, it was looking at that that persona that we project. So, whether it's on a dating app or whether it's on Instagram and Twitter, how much we sell ourselves or perhaps project um, an image of ourselves that isn't a hundred percent truthful. Bit of false advertising can go on or not, or it can just be misinterpreted. And I think if you're not in a good spot, that can all uh, exacerbate what you're already feeling. So in the book, um, there's some comedy, but then actually the, a lot of stuff happens to the protagonist in it, Charlotte. And she meets someone and then it all goes a bit dark and things don't go very well at all. And as her life sort of spirals, it's looking at, if one thing goes wrong in your life, everything else is okay, that's fine. But if everything goes wrong all at the same time, I think we can all be a bit vulnerable to um, having a bit of a crash, put it that way. And so, well, anyone, we can see it on our website as well, where, where you can get your book, and we'll have a link to it on our show too. So it's, I really, really want to read it, because I have just started internet dating personally. Oh, how's oh, it going? God. Um, It's weird, isn't it? You, are you yeah. swiping, darling? Have you built up muscles in the swipe? Oh, yeah, be careful. Like, but some, <laughs> honestly, honestly, some of the men, the pictures that they pose to themselves, like with a darts board and a great big stomach and a beer like that, and you think, really? I mean, no. really? Why would you? Who would be attracted to someone like? But that? is that not is that not somebody who's just being who they are, as opposed to all of us filtering, lighting? Is it not quite good if you're there with a darts? No, no, no Harriet. They send they send parts of their body through as well. Well, they've not, they've not, oh. they've not seen parts of the body, Sherry. <laughs> not so not good. Good. <laughs> I, I've only had that once, and I've got to say, it was, it was pretty grim. And it was from quite a sort of so-called successful man. He seemed to have quite an interesting... Thing. They're always educated. the worst, Gemma. They're always the worst. <laughs> yeah, and it took me... And then the funniest thing, I went, oh, my goodness. And then that was that, you know. And then he yeah. spent... Yeah, gross. And then... Uh, but I was just quite upset, actually, because it's quite an aggressive thing to receive. Yeah. And it's, it's just not... Yeah. Horrible. It's horrible, no. isn't it? It's my... <laughs> but, Gemma, can I just ask you to say something to you? Gemma, this is my daughter, Keely. Hi, and she, she has known James McCourt for a long time because I know it's a, he's a mutual friend of us all. So yeah, um, we nice. love him, don't and we? We've not seen him for ages. ages but then I he know. lives in LA, doesn't he? He lives so, in LA, yeah, yeah. yeah. James, Gemma, too. Yeah. Are, you, 
are you um, connected to the Forte family? I am kind of. Sadly, um, people always assume that, oh, you must be so rich. Like, <laughs> <back in> the... <laughs> I'm not. Because back in the 80s, they were just as Forte and everything. So my grandfather um, was brothers with who was Lord Charles Forte, who was kind of the real business genius. And my grandpa was in his own way as well, but then they kind of fell out. It was, it was a big Italian family. Um, oh, but yeah, so in fact, the the hotel inspector, who I've never met, is yes. my dad's cousin's daughter. Oh, so you are... Oh, right. Way. But I've never right. met her. But I've been on telly before, and people have gone, you look a bit like the hotel inspector. And I'm you like... Have a, you have a similar look. <laughs> say, Italian. Alexi Pulitzer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, yeah, there, is, there, there is a link. And then my grandfather was a hotel hotelier himself. Um, oh, and he had and he had um, a hotel in in Llandudno in Wales when I was growing up. Which, no. was, which one? It was called the George. We and know it well. St George's, oh. no way. Yeah, the George, the George wow. Hotel. Um, so that was we used to go there a lot, which was amazing. And yeah, he was he was fantastic. It's a quite interesting family. And then there's this little village Very. where it all started in Italy. Which if you saw it, honestly, there's like 45 people going up into the women have kids. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a little like square in the middle where they all play bop jeep and, and everything. And so that's where they were born, the brothers. And then, um, yeah, so they had an uncle who'd gone to America and had started all these incredible ice cream parties and came back and told them the stories about this. And then they went, uh, the first thing they had was a hot dog stand in their square. So oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, and then they started Cortez Ices, and then they got the money to do the first hotel, and it was yeah, it was huge. They were like, wow. yeah. they were like the amazing of the eighties, yeah. Yeah, wow. wow. Gemma, Gemma, I've been reading about your fantastic career, all the different things you've done, and I know that when you had your children, you went through, you know breastfeeding and all the rest of it. You found it very difficult to juggle, as we we all can relate to that because I remember putting on huge amounts of weight and having breastfeeding and sitting next to Twiggy at a do, having put on four stone. And it's, you know, you suddenly think, oh my God, what, what, can, what am I gonna do from here? Yeah. And um, but you've reinvented yourself and you've been so successful. What do you feel now you'd like to do next? Another book or presenting or what, what yeah. do you have a vision for your, the next thing, your next reinvention. It's really interesting. I think it's good to have vague ideas of what you want to do next, and I do. So I want to start screenwriting and want to adapt my own books and start offering, because I've had so oh, many yeah. conversations, so right. many conversations with production companies where they're like, yeah, yeah, we really like the idea. And I think if I can just go, well, there's a script, that's probably that the middle now. You know what it's like? I've also learned that like, what's the point of planning, especially in what we do? You just never know what's around the corner. No, it's no, more I about being proactive, keeping an open mind, seeing what happens. And if anything, I'm a bit more relaxed than I probably was. Yeah. Lucky to be working. <laughs> you know, just take it as it goes along, which is sort of, I, yeah, I think it's hard to plan too much when you're just going to be disappointed. I mean, obviously, apart from, you know, worldwide success, a huge Netflix movie, other than that. <laughs> Gemma, you have to be me. We're all in that. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I think also because things don't necessarily go to plan. So, you know, you talk about that point in your life where, you know, I've got my little kids and everything, and, and I really wanted to be at home with them, but it was knackering and all the rest of it. And, and, and I didn't know then that I'd, I'd get divorced many years later and sort of almost have to reinvent things a bit and start things again so yeah and I think that's a good thing but it just yeah. also means who knows what will happen in 10 years don't know yeah exactly brilliant yeah. oh it's that been so, so lovely to meet you Gemma thank you so oh, much for having so an amazing lovely. bunch of women I admire you all it's lovely to well you. come and again I'm going to be very very cheeky now can you send us all a copy of your book of course <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. How extraordinary. What an amazing wow. woman. Is she yeah. really is, isn't she? Can I just ask really. you, when you said you were juggling <laughs> breastfeeding, that gave yes. me an extraordinary image. <laughs> <laughs> A bit like yours in different trailers. Yes, yeah. dear. A four-stone breastfeeder, but juggling <laughs> much wider. <laughs>
wider <laughs> juggling. <laughs> oh, yes. Keely, Keely are, you in, are you enjoying this, Keely, being part of it? Yes, it's <laughs> fabulous. I'm always I can't get the lighting right, but I'm not very good at it. No, you both look oh, gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You do. Um, we're all glowing. Really, I, I found some, some incredible pictures when I was moving of you and Kira uh, on the oh, TV crew and some... You know, and I, I, we've known each other for so long. I remember you at our house at the old police station. I know. And I, I, I remember saying to your mum, I, I found your coat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who's um, my mum's coat? No, yours. Yeah. When you yours. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No way. You, you came over one sometime and you left the coat and it was only when we were moving from the police station that I actually did find it by which time I remember ringing up your mum and she was doing Coronation Street or something I was like found Keely's coat she said well she's too big for it now it wasn't it wasn't a blue one with a blue yeah, velvet was. collar yeah. oh my god oh. I, accused a, I accused a kid at school of stealing it <laughs> <laughs> And now we have the most wonderful person who's flown in today to see us, to give us all the soap gossip, is my wonderful friend, Stephen Murphy. Steve, are you there? Oh, there he is. Hello, <laughs> Stephen. Hi. Oh, friend, friend to the Wonderbirds. How are you, darling? Freezing, because my boiler's broken. Oh. Is that a euphemism? No. <laughs> no. Apart from that, I'm fine. Oh, okay. no. Oh, that's oh my goodness. Are you back at work in the West End or are you still working from home? I'm doing a day a week. Yeah. You can, you, can ah. desk, you can book a desk and go in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday if you want. So I'm doing a day a week just to break the week up, really. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because I like going into town as well. So. Is, yeah. there, is, there, but, is there anybody there? Yeah, there's quite a few people. I mean, not loads. Not loads, but, um, but there's quite a few people there. I mean, some people, it's weird, isn't it? Some people are absolutely loving working from home. And some yeah. people are driving them nuts, or some people just find they just can't do it because they get too yeah. distracted. So, what exciting storylines are coming, Steve? Tell us all the gossip and things you, you're not allowed to tell us at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> we but, won't tell anyone, obviously. Please. Nobody will. No, we won't, no, we won't say anybody. We won't tell anyone. <laughs> Mum's the word. Um, there's there's loads going on actually, and, and there seems to be particularly any standards. I think there seems to be. I think they've done it two different ways. Is my theory. I think Coronation Street have done it, and Emily have done it very much in little bubbles of characters. Ah. Get a lot of one story over the week and a lot of the same setting over the week to allow them to film it. Whereas I think EastEnders have, have kind of, are doing, almost feel like they're doing more production and more units because they seem to have more stories. I think because EastEnders are filming slower because they're doing all their clever stuff with the Perspex screens and the CGI oh. and the various things. I think that means that they're, they're working with smaller characters, but more grips of them. So there seems to be more, there seems to be more plots. So there seems to be about a million plots in the minute in EastEnders <laughs> and, and about four plots in Corey. So it's, it's, it's strange how they, the different kind of the, the different ways production wise, they worked it out. Um, so yeah, so there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I think everyone now, everyone now is kind of starting to feel that bit where you start to ramp up for Christmas. Yes. Yeah. You always, you, you always if, if, if there's always something that happens around October and you go, that's something to do with Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> definitely oh, something right. to do with Christmas. They, they worked out Christmas and they've gone back a bit, go, right, we've got to start that here. That's definitely something. So there's, yeah, there's there's lots of bits and bobs. There's a lot of stuff in EastEnders around the Carters, around Mick and Linda. Um, right. So like some really big stories there, big stories. Yeah. Danny died to act yeah. out at the minute and sort of historical abuse story, which is all yes. very interesting, actually. Um, and then there's um, a lot of more kind of not lighthearted stuff. There's a lot, there's a lot of good sort of family stuff with the Beals and a lot of good mm. sort of family stuff with the Slaters right. as well, which is quite good. Oh, good. There's, and there's, Jeff there's, must be about to leave Coronation Street. My kind of soapy senses tell me <laughs> that. I think possibly because Cornish Street's 60th anniversary is the beginning of December, 9th of December. Mm. So, they, so they've got to hit anniversary, then hit Christmas. So oh. they need two big peaks of stories, don't they? So I, I, I kind of, my feeling is that Jeff might be, might be anniversary story. That's definitely when they get into trial and everything. So, oh, so, um, yeah, right. so that, might, that might be his, his, down, his downcoming. Good. His downcoming's not a word, does it? His downfall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Steve, what I was going to ask you is, do you think once all this craziness is over, do you think there's room now for a new soap? Because it's been years, hasn't it, since yeah, there's been I've anything always, new? 
I've always thought there's there's somewhere for the 10 o'clock stoke before you go to bed that can, oh. be, that can be a little bit naughty. Well, the four of you there. Four ladies in their four early ladies. 40s. Um, <laughs> yes, that's us. <absolutely. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> yeah, I've, always, I've always thought that's that there's that's the one sort of you know because obviously six o'clock to eight o'clock is quite saturated now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I always sort of thought that there was kind of room for something around ten o'clock. Also, it can be a bit different. I always think also soaps are a bit about habit, and you watch Emily yes. at seven because you've you've had your dinner or whatever, and that's what you do at that mm -hmm. point in the night. I also think you can always get that habit, and that's what I do before I go to bed. Yes. Okay. yes. Wonder Birds at 10 o'clock and I'm going to bet. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Can you be our agent, please? We've got that. Can help us with this. Just be our agent. Pitch yes. it. The money's um, in the post. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all okay. Thank you. I, I Thank you, darling. New, I think the trouble with the new soap is, because the thing with soaps is, they are very expensive to set up, but they're quite cheap to run in drama terms. Yes. They are. So it, it, it's having the... It's having the confidence in that initial great big investment. Yeah. In yes. Mentality. You know, a standing set and all of that kind of thing. Whereas, because everything now, particularly on the Netflix model, is so on the algorithm. What does the algorithm say about what people watched and what can we, what should we do next and all of that? So mm. they, they, they kind of wait for almost like instant responses now. Yeah. Well, darling, listen, you sort out the contract, media. you sort out the set. <laughs> We're happy we'll to do, do it. Come back. We'll start in, writing. In a couple of weeks' time, please. <laughs> And we're happy to sign. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, thanks, thank Steve. you, darling. Thank you for everything. See you very soon. See you soon. See you soon. Thanks, Bye. 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 It's so wonderful how we keep getting different shows out of this one Often show. Tours. I know. Yes. Different opportunities. <laughs> and Keely, Amazing. you're now going to be involved in it because Can't you're be here. Can't wait. Yeah. Because you're here. That's here brilliant. and now. Now tell us, Steve, who is coming in on Wednesday? So on Wednesday. We have the amazing Dr. Tracy Mumford doing her well-being clinic. And she's going to be talking about vitamins, what vitamins we should have for our immune systems. And then we have our first hair appointment with the wonderful Andrew Barton, who we call Barty. And he's also going to be talking about the health of hair with vitamins. So please, everyone, send in your questions around health, wealth. No, just health. <laughs> no, we'll take wealth. Oh, we okay. Well. Wealth, wealth and vitamins. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. See you on Wednesday. Bye, Kiwi! Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.